Hello friends, welcome to the Technical Study Place YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about cathode ray tube. So, without any wasting any time, let's begin. So, with the using of cathode ray tube, we will perform something on, we will show something on screen. So, what, so whatever the image is there, so whatever the video, the video is there, so that all the things we will show on the screen with the help of cathode ray tube. So, it is used in the TV. So, how this is uh, how this will work so let's see in this section let's see in this video so this is the diagram and these are the some points of the uh, cathode ray tube okay so let's under let's understand this what is cathode ray tube so cathode ray tube in short form we will tell it as crt so it is a device crt is a device which converts electrical signal into visual signal means crt is a device which converts electrical signal into visual si signal by applying voltage and current voltage then it will con convert into current then it will convert into visual signal so here in this this is the diagram of cathode ray tube so here some pins are there okay total four pins are there okay so here we will provide the we will put the we will provide the voltage so it will convert into the current and in the so after doing this all process so it will um, perform it will show some visualization in the output of the screen okay cathode emits electron when it's get heat up by the heater means when we apply voltage or current then it will convert into current so after that what will happen so pins after it, it is a base so after that what it is so it is a heater so after applying the voltage after or current so the heater will get heat up okay so the heater what will happen so the heater will get heat up and what after that what uh, what will happen if the heater get uh, heat up means the it will emits the electron means it releases the electron so after that what will happen so whatever the cathode is there the cathode is there so it will open up so it will emits the cathode will emits so it is what is there it is the cathode so it will emits when when the heater get up when the heater heat ups so we will provide the voltage or the current on the pins so after that the heater will heat up so it is a rod basically so it, heater will heat up so it will provide the and uh, or push the electrons so after the when the heater get heat ups the cathode will, will what the cathode property will say so cathode will emit means the cathode will re open this one so after that electrons will go electrons will uh, go in their path okay so basic so after this uh, this all this is the grid and these are the different types of nodes so the electrons coming here so electrons are we know that electrons are positively charged so while going uh, many electrons so what will happen so electrons uh, will go will go by repelling their each other by repelling each other they will go so some electrons some go here some electrons some go here some like this some go here some by repelling their each other they will go their path okay grid focuses and pass electron beam at high speed so this is the grid okay there are two grids are there in this crt so what will grid do so grid focuses the electron so grid will focuses the electron and it produces the most speed up it produces the force so the electrons are coming so it will pushes the electron it accelerates the electron so it will accelerates the electron uh, electron so heater will also the push the electron heater will provide the electron so more than heater the grid has the more power so it accelerates the el electron so it provides the push up so it forces the electron to go their path and it provides the fo focuses also okay and next is pre acceleration anode focusing anode accelerating anode path provides path okay so means there, there are three types of anodes here one is a pre accelerating anode and second one is a focusing anode and third one is accelerating anode so basically in this diagram four are there but basically it will three only or four only no matter but different types of anodes are up there means only three are there pre accelerating anode focusing anode and accelerating anode so what this anode provides so it provides the path for the electron so 
if the electrons are coming here so it will tell the uh, tell to the electron so it will provides the path here only so it will send the electron to the their path only okay suppose think that electrons are coming here so it is uh, they are rippling each other so it is coming out of the grid also so no matter it comes out of the grid also so they are rippling each other so it provide so what happens the grid pro provides path so again it is going so again the uh, what will happen uh, the electrons again they are rippling each other so again they come outside if they come uh, if in case the anodes will also they provide path in case the electron come outside of the anode also so what the aqueduct coating will do so this layer green color layer the end layer is there na so this is called aqueduct coating if the electrons come out of the anode also if they come electron or electrons come out of the anode different types of anode also focusing anode accelerating anode pre accelerating anode also so what will happen so if the electron comes here out of the anode so the aqueduct coating repels the electron and send the send the electron to back their path so it will go to to the its path so it will go to the its goal so basically the grid and the uh, anodes and the aqueduct coating the three also provides a path so the grid also focuses okay and next what is the so vertical deflection plate it deflects electron beam in up up direction and down direction on screen okay okay so after that uh, the when electrons coming here coming here rippling here and go, going or many electrons are coming na? so the, the electrons are rippling here each other some electrons going outside of the and not some after that coming inside so like this they are coming in here 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 so till here they have been came okay grid anodes and aqueduct coating and pro the three also provides in path so all going the electrons basically they are rippling each other so they are going here 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 and they are coming their path so till here they are coming so what here the two plates have been doing and these are called as vertical deflection plate okay so the vertical deflection plate what will do so this till the here electrons have been come so the vertical deflection plate uh, will uh, will uh, send the electrons to the um, to these on the screen so it strikes on the screen so where the electron wants to be means where we want to strike the electrons in the screen so in up or down so in up or down so where we want to strike the electron so this this work will be done by the vertical deflection plate so this vertical deflection plate will not hold and throw the electrons to the on, on the screen so if the electron is the one electron is here so this this electron i want to strike upside here so what this what this plate will do electrons is positively charged so this uh, this plate is also the, we will increase will give more power to this plate so what will happen when you give more power to this plate so the electron come and come and it attracts the electron na? so this plate attracts the electron when you when we give more power to that so the electrons according to that power so it will come here and strike on it on the screen so so if you if if you want to if we want this this electron to strike here so we will give little less power to the split so this come here the electron comes here comes here comes here and strike it to here and this is what this is called as phosphorus screen so the electrons from the heater to for screen so this is the goal of this electron so from here from heater to the electrons come here and strike it on the screen okay so the vertical what vertical deflection plate will do so what vertical deflection sends or strikes the uh, electron on the screen in up or down in up or down direction okay similarly horizontal deflection plate deflects electrons beam in right and left direction so for up and down vertical deflection plate will do okay we will send the electron and strike it on wherever up or down in the screen so these are the these yellow uh, plate these yellow things are the horizontal deflection plate any horizontal plates they are so if the electrons are coming so if i want to strike the uh, electron in the left side here in, in this is the screen so if i want to strike the electron here left side so what will happen i will uh, provide the potential i will provide the power so to the left plate so so this uh, left according to 
how much power i have provided to the left pit uh, horizontal left pit the from according to that the electrons come as strike on the screen so if i want to left side uh, if i want to uh, i want to electrons should strike here so i will provide some here some potential to the horizontal deflection plate so the electrons come 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 here and strike it here on the screen so like this vertical deflection plate and horizontal deflection plate from these two we, we will strike the electron in the output of the screen that is called as the screen is called as the phosphorus screen okay so, suppose think this is a screen okay this is a screen so if the electrons is coming if i want to strike here so what will happen so here upside here upside and left corner so here i want to strike the electron so what will happen the electron is coming so i will increase so i will use the potential for the vertical deflection plate as well as the horizontal deflection plate i will pro provide the potential and the power so according to that power so the uh, the electron is coming 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 and strike it on the phosphorus screen so like this we will pro from uh, like this we will we will strike the electron on the screen okay just now i have told the aqueduct coating so if electrons come out of their path then it repels the electron and helps the electron to come and again focusing path so if uh, electron is coming out of the anode out of the grid so if an in case if the anode uh, if the electron is coming out of the anode or out of the grid so then what will happen the aqueduct coating what will it do the as i have known that the the layer so the this layer outer layer is called as the aqueduct coating so if the electron come outside of the anode so then it aqueduct coating repels the electron and sends the again it to the focusing path so this is the path of the electron so this is the goal of the electron okay so what the aqueduct coating will do it repels the electron and send it to the back to the path screen is coated with sulfur just now i told that screen is of the copper sorry phosphorus screen is coated with the phosphor means screen is with the phosphor screen is of phosphor metal used in screen is of zinc sulfate or zinc tungsten or zinc oxide so inside the phosphorus screen so some layers will be there so that layers metal layers is also called as so that metal layers is can be as zinc sulfate zinc tungsten or zinc oxide okay so some layers will be there inside of the screen so that layers will be of the zinc sulfate or zinc tungsten or zinc oxide okay so cathode is of nickel cylinder coated with oxide so what is this cath this cathode okay this cathode is of the nickel cylinder coated with oxide okay and electron gun is of heater cathode grid these three are also called as electric gun electric gun sorry electron gun basically it is called as electrical or electron gun okay so heater cathode and grid with three this is called as electron gun heater so this is a heater cathode this is cathode and this and this grid with three we call it as electron gun okay so i hope this three um, these all points has been covered so one more time we will see so when the when we these are the pins so from here we will provide the voltage or current after providing the voltage the heater get heat heat up after that uh, when heater get heat up what it will do it uh, provides or it sends the electron so when heater get heat up the cathode uh, property will says that the it emits the, it emits so means it opens so the cathode will open and the the heater will provide the electrons the electrons are positively charged so it will go by repelling each other so some uh, some electrons are repelling each other so some electron will go some electron will go some electron will go some like that the electrons will go okay so these are the grid okay these are the these two are grid so grid what will do it focuses the electron and it provides uh, speed up to the electron so it provides the uh, focuses so it's like this way only should go that 
to the grid uh, the grid will to the electron so and it also provides the speed up to the electron so it accelerates the electron to go fast so it provides the boost for the electron so if the electrons are here so after the grid the electrons are here okay so what the anodes are these these all are the anodes this is the pre accelerating anode and this is the focusing anode and this is the accelerating anode so what this grid will do it provides the path to the electron so suppose if the electron is coming uh, outside here is is coming here so it prov it uh, provides the path to the electron so it will should go in this way only so the electrons are coming here suppose in case if the electrons come out of the anodes here or here here because electrons are positively charged so electrons are repelling to each other so if the electron come outside of the anodes and the anode then what will happen so this green layer is there na so outside so what is this called as the aqueduct coating so what it will do it will the electron it will repel to the electron so it repels to the electron and send it to uh, it to the again to the path okay so the electron is again coming to the path so now the electrons are here with the vertical deflection plate what will do with them so it will send it will it will send or strike the electron in the up or downside in the up phosphorus screen okay so it will strike the electron up or down in the phosphorus screen by applying the potential or by applying the power to the plate so if the electron want to strike upside here so according to how much power we are giving so like from that the electron will go upside and it will strike on the phosphorus screen and if we want to and after that the electrons if you want to um, if we want our electrons to strike on the left so this horizontal plate and deflection plates are been used so this from a, from if you give the potential or the power to the horizontal deflection plate so according to that the electrons will strike left or right on this screen so the with the horizontal deflection plate the electrons will strike up and down on the screen with the horizontal deflection plate the electrons will strike right or left on the phosphorus screen this is the phosphorus screen okay so like this we are generating image on the screen so i hope you have understood this what is cathode ray tube it is a device which converts electrical signal into visual signal this is the definition of the crt so i hope you have understood this what is crt and how it works if you have any kind of doubt please comment below that because the comment section is open for you all only if you want to join our telegram link we will give daily updates there so please must join there if you want crt notes the link is the website link is given in the description hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon also see you in the next video till then take care bye bye